soy el fuego que... No. But you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Why would you want Solas to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solas won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. Isn't it extreme for Solas to bind you? What if that takes away the part of you that makes you... you? Helping makes me who I am. I help the hurting. That is what I do. All I do. Am. Me. And if binding you erases your mind? Your consciousness? You wouldn't make me hurt innocent people. I don't want to hurt innocent people again. There has to be some middle ground between do nothing and bind coal with blood magic. Indeed. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect coal as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. There is no other man. He becomes the other man to do the things he can't. I found the amulet that Solas told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. Are you ready, Cole? They can't make me a monster. Ah! What was that? Oh, for... What are you doing to the kid? Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Something like Cole not being a demon? Solas, is it possible that the amulet doesn't work on Cole because he's too... human? Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes. A spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could knot together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering. But it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. There. That way. We'll find whatever is preventing the amulet from working, and we'll make it right. All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Sure. All right, I get it. 
You like spirits. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. If I see a way to protect Cole without taking away whatever he is, I'll use it. But Cole clearly needs our help. I'm not saying we do nothing. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Yeah, this should get me through the month. Give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? You... You killed me! What? I don't... I don't even know you. You forgot! You locked me in the dungeon in the Spire and you forgot and I died in the dark! The, the Spire? Cole, stop! Just take it easy, kid. He killed me! He killed me! That's why it doesn't work! He killed me and I have to kill him back! If he killed you, wouldn't you be dead? Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help. And I, I couldn't. So I became him. Cole. If Cole was an apostate, that'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying lyrium. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Before I decide anything, I need a clearer picture of what happened. It seems the real Cole was an apostate. Captured and taken to the Circle by Templars. Who aren't known for their gentle nature. As the young man starved to death in a dungeon, his pain caught the attention of a spirit, likely one of compassion. Compassion? An uncommon spirit, certainly, and all too fragile when its efforts to help proved to be in vain. Varric, the kid's angry. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human, and humans change. They, they get hurt, and they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. Solas? We cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of give... Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. Cole will never grow into a real person until he comes to terms with what happened. Leave it to me. All right, kid. You want revenge? Come with me. I'm so sorry! Sorry isn't going to help him now, is it, kid? No. Pull the trigger and put him down like a mad dog. Do it! No! Now 
you doing, kid? Feel any better? No. You can't make it all just go away. I learned that the hard way. Forget. No. He needs to remember. You too. We're done here. For all we know, the amulet will now never function. Cole remains vulnerable to binding. No, he isn't. The amulet didn't work because he's too human, right? Maybe now the kid's also too human for that binding magic to work on him. I hope you're right. It still hurts. When do I stop hurting? Being with your friends can make you feel better. Come on, kid. Let's go for a walk. It'll clear your head. The left hand misses a friend with two different names. She's hurting, sad, alone. But everyone can see me now. They remember. How do I put honey in Leliana's wine without her noticing? I can help with that. It is good that he's not entirely changed, however human he becomes. <laughs>